We have the UEFA ruling finally. How does this change things for the Mercado for Juventus? We're going to take a look at that. The details on the Facundo Gonzalez deal are out. And Rovella, we have a timeline for the player. All that and all the Mercado rumblings coming through today right now on the AJC. I'm Alberto. You know the drill. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Now let's kick things off with this UEFA ruling, okay? So as far as the UEFA ruling goes, it is as expected, all right? Long overdrawn and very much delayed. But yesterday we finally received word we are not in the Conference League, all right? So out of the Conference League this year, also facing a 20 million euro fine. And then we are eligible for European play next season. That is exactly what has been expected to come down in this ruling. Now, reports suggest that this is going to change the Mercado drastically for Juventus. And now they're going to be selling um, potentially one of Vlaovic and Chiesa and whatnot. Look, that is simply not true. Nothing has changed drastically in terms of the Mercado for Juventus, okay? Yes, we have to sell uh, a certain amount of funds and whatnot that they have a number in their minds that they'd like to see in terms of sales, okay? But as far as now, definitely moving big players from Juve, not the case. Not the case at all, okay? So, the, the increase we were going to get, the revenue that was going to come from Conference League was minimal, okay? So it doesn't have this great big effect that the media headlines out there are trying to portray. As far as Juventus goes, the top priority in generating the magic number that they have, which is somewhere around 100 million euros, is to come from still selling guys that are out of the project, McKenny, uh, Zaccaria, Pellegrini, etc., and potentially sacrificing some young guys, Okay. Vlaovic and Chiesa, everything remains the same. If deals or offers are made that are very, very tempting and whatnot, Juve would definitely consider them and whatnot. But there's also rumblings and more and more rumblings by the day that there is a group at Juventus that wants to see Vlaovic and Chiesa both remain. I have said for the longest time throughout this Mercado that the possibility of all these big guys, Bremer, Vlaovic, Chiesa remaining is still very, very strong. And it remains that way today. In terms of Chiesa, he also had offers from Aston Villa and Newcastle in which he rejected and does not want to go there, all right? So uh, the possibility of these guys remaining, very, very strong. Like we said, the guys out of project are going to be top priority in moving and potentially sacrificing some youngsters. Illing Jr. has an offer of 18 million euros. There was an offer put in. Juve rejected it. But they did not reject it for why many of us fans want to hear, which is that, no, they want Illing Jr. to stay at all costs. It's because the value is not where they'd like to see it. They want to see it somewhere around 25 million euros. So if an offer around that range comes in, Illing Jr. could very much be moved all right so again it's going to be very very interesting to see how Juve comes across generating this number that they want to see in outgoing sales Rovella we got the bad news about his injury he was heading back to uh, Italy and whatnot for recovery he is out 10 to 15 days should Rovella be out for the full duration 15 days that would take him to somewhere around August 12th August 13th the season is slated to start around August 20th which is why I say this couldn't come at a worse time when a player is literally in the middle of this battle in this midfield where you have absolutely Absolutely zero idea what Max Allegri is going to do as far as selections go into the season. All right. So again, time will tell how this actually affects Rovella and Juventus. But right now, 10 to 15 days out for uh, Rovella. We'll have to see what happens. De Winter. More and more news coming out uh, each day about his future heading away from Juventus. And today, Mirko Di Natale reports the same, that Udinese is pushing for the move. They're working on a formula as we speak. He says there could be developments in the coming hours for Coney de Winter being moved on. And maybe, just maybe, the Facundo Gonzalez news is what kind of steered this push or whatnot but the Facundo Gonzalez deal apparently set to be finalized three million euro uh, will be paid to uh, Valencia they will also get a percentage on any future sale from Juventus on the player the player is set to sign a five-year deal should be wrapped up early this week somewhere around Monday or Tuesday and uh, this deal has a lot of Juventini excited but we still don't actually know 
if he is going to be used or if he's going to be loaned out or if he's going to see himself at next year. Like nobody knows what's going to happen with Facundo Gonzalez. What I can gather from uh, fans of Uruguayan football is they actually didn't want him to go to Juventus because they said there's other destinations that are much more desirable in terms of younger players and developing them. And this is something that we have all felt for quite some time is we need to get better in Italy as a whole at developing talent. And now we're seeing that from fans uh, with young prospects coming from abroad, not so keen on uh, joining Italy. So we'll have to see what happens with Facuno Gonzalez. Also, is this a Juntoli gem coming out of nowhere? Or there are also reports that it is actually Mana's work that sees Facuno Gonzalez coming in. Either way, pretty excited about this player. Going to be uh, providing you all with a short, short scouting report on Facuno Gonzalez coming out later today. It's just going to be YouTube short, but keep uh, your eyes peeled for that one. And tomorrow morning, we will be live covering all the news surrounding in this past week of Juventus and the U.S. tour so far, all right? You guys know the drill. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about all the news you just heard here today, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning on the live. Till then, fino alla fine, forza Juve, ciao tutti.